What a weekend it's been here at Samford University. The fans, the fun, the football, the parade. Alumni back in town, all together it equals homecoming. And this weekend, Samford's was bigger and better than ever. I think homecoming is one of my favorite traditions at Sanford. I just think it really like brings the whole community together. It's uh, it's really exciting to see that um, just everybody together and that one just like one united goal of supporting the Bulldogs in this you know one game and uh, you know, it's one of my favorite events of the year because we're all here you know ready to go. The atmosphere is great. I, I've never felt such a positive energy come out of just a annual just a casual event really. You got. You got sororities, fraternities, corn shucking, everything, barbecue. This is, well, this is the South, so Southern hospitality is our thing. And of course, the tailgating was exciting. We had reunions galore. Classes from 1987, 92, 2002, 2007, and 2011, plus special reunions for the classes of 1952. 62 and 67. And let's not forget about the Golden Bulldogs, those graduates celebrating 50 plus years after graduation. We graduated, I graduated on the old campus, but it's always wonderful to come back to homecoming and to see old friends, only they're getting to be fewer and fewer in our generation. And on Friday night, there was a bonfire, a pep rally, a Ben Rector concert behind me. Now, on the inside at the alumni banquet, the scene's a little different. Yeah, it's a mere candlelight. It's the candlelight dinner, and it's the 146th time we've had it at Sanford. First time back to Sanford in 43 years, and thank you guys for inviting me back. It's extraordinary. I came on campus yesterday, and all those trees which were just above my knee are up in the clouds. It's phenomenal. This, this place has gotten much more beautiful. Honoring alumni classes and alumni of the year, names like James Husky, Kerry Gossett, Rick and Mary Ann Moon, and young alumnus Patrick Devereaux, all proving their love and devotion to Samford University. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime chance and an opportunity and once in a lifetime occurrence. It's just a bit overwhelming. I'm humbled and, and grateful, uh, overwhelming gratitude. My, my entire family is here. Uh, friends of mine and, uh, and uh, other professionals in the profession who've helped shape both my, my personal and professional life. Um, I just can't even begin to put into words how honored and humbled I am. And outside of reunions, we had a special anniversary to celebrate, the 90th anniversary of the Ida V. Moffitt School of Nursing. They had plenty of special events and alums back to celebrate the monumental number, including the Living Legacy Gala. We will be recognizing 50 very prestigious alums who have had a local touch but has reached around the globe. So we are very excited to have the group we have tonight and to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the Automotive School of Nursing. Add that to a School of Education Tea Party, Journalism's Wall of Fame Ceremony, Vespers, and the Bulldog Walk, Homecoming was the biggest and best it's ever been. So how about the homecoming football game? Well, Sanford roared back on Appalachian State. They took the lead 25 to 21, but App State scored late. They win 28 25. Still, Coach Sullivan, very proud of his Bulldogs. Well, first, let's start with the crowd, uh, you know, and I spoke at the pep rally last night, and I sure hope that the students got my message that it, it's so special to see uh, you know, our team go over and uh, interact with them at the end of the game. And you know, they've come and stayed, and uh, you can feel the vibes on campus, and uh, that's the way it ought to be. And uh, you know, we were about a minute and 20 seconds from really giving them something special to cheer about. And, uh, but it didn't go our way. Well said by coach Pat Sullivan. A couple more notes on homecoming. Abby Sander is the homecoming queen and Tim Foote is the homecoming king. Folks, in a couple days, we'll have a full recap of homecoming. Look for it at samford.edu. It'll be our next edition of the Samford Chronicle. For Samford University, I'm Brad Radisi.